joining us. I'm Miriam O'Gara and you're watching Later on 10. Now, when celebrity moms opt to have an elective cesarean in preference to a natural birth, they're often labelled too posh to push by the media. But in Britain, women do have the right to choose. And in London, as many as 5% of professionals are doing just that. Not many people are aware that only one of the bells here at Westminster is actually called Big Ben. Imagine Amanda. It's been 20 years since Les Miserables appeared in the West End and it's had a wonderfully popular run ever since then. According to Dr. Poole of Extreme Health USA, there's now a better drug-free way to clean your arteries and it's called chelation therapy. And recently I've been doing a lot of modelling and presenting, that's what I've been doing. Well, you've got natural posture and beautiful looks and I can remember because I was raised in Nigeria. Oh, really? And everybody has wonderful posture. Tell me a little bit more about the modelling. Um, modelling, I've been modelling for about four years now. So, Ellie, first of all, tell us a little bit about your job in Ideal World. OK, um, I've been at My Ideal World now for three months. There are plenty of advantages to having a planned caesarean. You deliver at 38 weeks instead of 40, you decide the date and time, and you can be awake and pain-free throughout the procedure. And medically, it's the safest way for both mother and child. Traditionally, the show has had an adult cult following, but lately, its fan base has become younger and younger. And this is due in the main to what is called the Les Mis Kids Club. It's not a secret organization. It's open to everyone, and particularly kids between the ages of 8 and 15. The building is called St. Stephen's Tower, also known as the Westminster Clock Tower. It's located at the north end of Parliament buildings, beside Westminster Bridge. Carol Smiley! <laughs> And tickets for the tour are on sale from tomorrow. And you can find out more from Ticketmaster on 0990-616-616. Yeah, but it's not really a male thing, is it, Shop? No, I've got to gear it towards so. women. That's right, that's right, really, yeah. How many channels have you got now? I've actually got four. Maybe a modelling a modeling agency out there. That would be great. Oh, that would be wonderful, yeah, wouldn't it? You can imagine. bring back all those pawpaws. <laughs> Split them open, share them out. Have a wonderful time. Like never forget then. <laughs> Listen, you're a great ambassador for your country and I wish you very well in the future. I hope oh, we see a lot more you. of you on the uh, TV screens. Oh, thank well done. You. Thank you for joining us. And the US Navy advocated it for sailors who'd been absorbing lead while painting government ships. So why haven't we heard about it before now? James Evans sent us this report. I'll be here most of the afternoon, so come back and join me in half an hour. Back to you at the studio. Our reporter Emma Pearson has been following the story of Julia Jones, an expectant young mum who wants a cesarean birth, and this is how she got on on her first visit to the hospital. So thanks for tuning in and have a great week. Good night. <laughs>